and here we are. Same India state. Today. Here same we are. Same time, same station. Yes. We're lighting we're, we're lighting some incense that we bought in India. Yes, it's spectacular. This comes from the community of Oroville, and we'll talk about that. Good to see you, Nancy. Thank you for coming back and finding us one week later after we did that fun podcast from Sri Lanka. Actually, this is really in Bali. Our third podcast from this naturist resort, actually, Paul. All right, so let's get started and show you um, a map of India. Oh, I love and maps. You can see that. I know I love maps, too. So the red, so we've been all over the country uh, and this was our, we've now spent 10 months traveling in India and um, the red dot is uh, where we were uh, the whole month, what, about a month ago. And um, right. we came to the, flew into Chennai, which is north of Oroville. And then just adjacent to Oroville is the town of Pondicherry. And Pondicherry was the center of the French Indian colonial sort of uh, enclave um, that was active in the 19th century. It's called White Town. Yeah. And so we spent, that's where we were. We only went to one place in India. It was kind of crazy. We flew from Colombo there in Sri Lanka that you see and uh, spent the whole month in uh, that so two totally different worlds from, you know, a 90 minute flight into Chennai, a great airport in Chennai, by the way. And then we caught a car, but it's like instant change up when it comes to the honking reality oh, yes. of India. Everybody has to beep their scooter horn or their car horn. And it's really out of safety for everyone. I think even right. the trucks will say uh, honk horn. So it's like, right, red right, alert, red alert, right. I'm coming through. So the first thing we're going to tell you about a few different, share oh. some pictures and tell you about a few different things. This is the guy, we want to first tell you about the apartment that we rented, because one of the reasons that drew us there was that we found a great deal for a one month stay. And this was our, our landlord and um, a wonderful man. And it Amazing. Was He's like super friendly. And guess what we paid? $20 a day. This is the entry to the Purple Hotel. Now it's been renamed Starlight Hotel. Somebody else bought it. But we, we had an apartment sort of inside the hotel. And that was the building uh, actually at the backside of the hotel. And we were on the, not the very top with the tin roof. Thank God we were one level down. So, yes. And then this is our hallway. And that's one of our three cats that we, um, oh, that adopted. was the first. The, actually, that's the owner's cat called Zoom. And, yeah. you know, Nancy, you're a cat lady, uh, no children. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, don't forget, no children, cat lady. <laughs> so, that cat, I love Zoom, and I was in charge really that whole month of watering all of his plants. Yes. I, he didn't ask me, but I just... He took care of all those plants in the hall. The house plants out there were... Of course so you did. We were yeah. behind the welcome mat, so that was our front door. Yes. And then this was our very lovely, expansive two, three room wow. bath. Um, now, overlooking a, a lovely forested area. We were pleasantly was, surprised. $20 a night. That was a cashew forest, Nancy. When you look out those windows in the Ooh. back, um, all of that was cashew. And then within three weeks, like about 10 days, maybe before we packed up and left uh, for Bali, that cashew forest had been well, some down. of it, just, well, a, just a, a little bit of it at the beginning, but mm -hmm. they had a they're building a little something additional back there. But you can see we had a beautiful um uh out balcony, the, yeah. balcony out the side there on the left that we had uh over it was a westerly, uh more or less a westerly view. Uh, that is toward the ocean. And there were some spectacular thunderstorms Amazing. that we stood out there and watched at night. And then you see the little red in the middle of the screen. That's the bed uh, in, in the bedroom. And Here's we had a little kitchen. kitchen. We never had dinner in we the went 30 out for, days. Hey, we're in India. We're going out for dinner. Yeah. But the kitchen was great for breakfast. And the cats, uh -huh. of course, made their way into the house, uh, but not on the bed. Um, but uh, we... It was a fun. Maybe not on the bed. Not what? absolutely not on the bed. <laughs> not with this one. 
So, but we uh, we you know put up our bling and and uh, made it home for a Don't month. I could love that umbrella. And that we got out part of our hotel pictures and our little Airbnb. tchotchkes. Some of these things are gifts that we're giving to other people when we eventually see them. But yeah, that's our little altar. Yeah, uh -huh. we always have an altar in our in our house or our room. And then that's a, a balcony that's the forest. picture. That's the uh, the uh, cashew forest. And of course, we brought uh -huh. popcorn from Sri Lanka. My favorite. So we had to divvy it out. We had special popcorn afternoons. It was uh, bloody hot in the afternoon. Bloody hot. And so we would have popcorn and watch a little something in bed in, on Netflix, which was really fun. <laughs> I love that and picture. as you can see here, it was hot. It's 92, but it feels like 109. Yeah, there was always. This was a typical heat. afternoon. So, But it always cooled off by the time we went out for dinner at, at um at sunset. Okay, these All guys. Right, these guys. There were about 10 guys in a large room at the end of the hall. They were our neighbors the whole time we were there. They're all like on internships for um it's hotel, hotel hospitality, hospitality, hospitality training. training. They were working at a nearby hotel as trainees and they were living. And so we would some days we would see them and some days we wouldn't, but they were frequently long, they go by long hours. Good they morning. always said hello to us in the morning. A great group of guys. So, just really a lot of fun. Now I threw in a few pictures here that were we took um, from our balcony. Not only could we watch thunderstorms, but we had amazing and Netflix. Uh, clear <laughs> skies in India, which is not something that we actually have a lot of experience with. It's a great clear. And blue so we sky. discovered the this app on our phones that we added called Stellarium. Stellarium, and these are images that we could take from. So we were like discovering. Yeah, the Southern uh, Indian sky. Yeah, yeah, really beautiful. So I thought it was really fun to share oh, some is. of those. Wow, that is so cool. So, oh. and I've been studying um, sort of next level astrology and astronomy these days, galactic sort of level, sort of beyond the solar system. So I've been really enjoying that. So I thought I would just pause and see if you had any remarks you wanted to make about the apartment. Ooh, Did I miss anything, Rich? Not a beat. Because next we want to tell you about the... Late, she's pausing yeah. to oh. respond. <laughs> <laughs> You're pausing, Paul. <laughs> okay, I'll take a sip. Yeah, hit Paul's pause button. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yeah, uh, uh, so you were you were how long at that particular location? Well, we thirty think, days. Yeah, it was basically. I think we were there twenty seven. But yeah, in we, we had a we had a one month. Oh, you know, if you rent on Airbnb, you can very often get a big discount, and we got it with this. This is not normally twenty dollars a night, but he likes long term guests. In fact, and when we left, the person coming in after us was going to be there for four months. Yes. Well, yeah. this just is amazing to me that you could get something of that quality for $20. $20. You know, and then no, there was like, you had yeah. to pay electric. And when right. when he told us this, you know, take a picture of the meter reading numbers, and then we'll settle up at the end. We kind of estimated in our head with AC running uh, that it would, might run us $130. No, it was like $73. Yeah, $70 or $80. And it was wow. eight rupees a kilowatt hour. So we could, you know, actually we could open the windows, the door, and just often we would have a morning breeze yeah. that would, you know, still be 82 degrees uh, sure. Fahrenheit. You got used to it. And so and we did they tried... have a restaurant on the in the facility? Did, did they have a restaurant? Yeah, but we didn't use it. We're going to show you after we talk to you about the intentional community, about why somebody might want to come there and stay for four months or a month. Yeah, um, we're going to show you some scenes around town and stuff. And there was a small town that had some really high quality cafes and restaurants right there yeah so we just uh used those for our meals and and cool yeah let's, let's yeah, move really, on let's go just a lovely chill time in oroville it's quite magical so actually. the Ooh. intentional community so yeah i threw this one in here at the beginning uh -huh. uh, let me make sure i'm on the right one there's one of those hunky no scooters. this is the wrong one um there it is. Okay. Um, Aha, uh -huh, the mother. The mother. So we start. Oh, the mother. Yeah. Yes. So, so the Oroville uh, is a French uh, conglomeration, a uh, French word meaning um, city of the dawn. Uh, and um, she is the Parisian born of uh, Turkish and Egyptian parents. 
uh, in in Paris. She was born and she spent a lot of time in her youth in Algeria. And she's a very interesting woman of a bourgeois family from the she was born like in the 1870s, I think, or 1870s. Mm, died in 1973. Yeah. Okay? So she had this vision for this community. And, uh, you know, the community now is like 56 years old. And and I have a quote of, of hers, and it's a place for trying to find one's consciousness. It's like the force, the central force of Oroville, the cohesive force of Oroville. And, it, you know, when they when they visualize this dream piece of land, it was pretty much a stripped barren yeah. region that they like they planted like thousands and thousands of trees so, over the be, 50 some years. Yeah, before we get to the actual community, the other founder of Oroville mm. is this man here and his name is Sri Aurobindo. Oh, and, he is so well known in that. Yes, right, in, in the spiritual world. In a yeah. yoga and the I two love of this them, picture of him. And here they are in their younger years uh -huh. when they met in in Pondicherry because she was married a couple of times and one of her husbands was trying to become uh, a uh, elected official in Oroville and they had come there. He was running. He didn't actually win, but she became friends with Sri Aurobindo and the two of them together created this ashram eventually uh, in mm, Pondicherry. Right. And then this resulted in her securing this land in Oroville. It's not too far from Pondicherry. I mean, it was like a 20 Probably minute, 20 minutes 20 minute tuk tuk ride, 25 minute tuk tuk ride. Which a lot was, of honking in between, but yeah. So we would go from uh, Oroville to Pondicherry, you know, once or twice a week, easy. And so the two of them created this community, the center of which is this Matramandir. And this is a conglomeration that means uh, village of the mother. Or Ooh. I think it is Matra Mandir. And it is in the heart. Mother Matra. Yeah. It's, a, it's really the heart of Oroville, right in the center. Yeah. And uh, surrounding it is a gardens. bunch of gardens. And then it's like geometrically laid out like uh uh um what's the swirl the 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 1.61 one, yada 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 swirl in the like, universe oh. yeah for, um forgetting the word I'll, it'll come to me but this yeah. is a, this is a one this is an kind of an odd wood this uh, the is the fibonacci fibonacci yeah the fibonacci, fibonacci. It's kind of like a fibonacci curve and you can yeah. kind of see the the um matra mandir in the middle and this is a place for this is a non this is a non religious spiritual intentional community it's not hindu it's not buddhist it's, it's not buddhist it's not christian not christian it's it's all of them it's it's a, a place of they don't use the even word they don't even use the word meditation they use the word concentration so you can make a reservation free to go right everything is free they never asked us for a penny the whole month we were there um, and we could go to the Matramandir and concentrate. And you make a little trip in the from the visitor center nearby to uh, on a bus with a small group of people, and together you can go in and spend time there. And this is the visitor center. And if you're just visiting there for the day, you can go to a viewing point through the woods that they planted, like Rich said, yeah. and view the Matramandir. And here's like a brief history. And, uh, you know, February of 68, inauguration, and anybody that cares can pause here and read this. Now, did we uh, put this on our hotelguys.com uh, site? We might not? have. And then, this is our first Yeah, walk so we're just the getting viewpoint. there. We're going out to view the Matramandir down this. They have done such a nice job. Cleanest place in India. Oh, that's another whole story. Uh, along the way, you Can see. Can I talk about that? Yeah, little well, handicrafts. I mean, corporate universe has really created a problem, especially in countries where they do not have uh, systems and methods of uh, collecting waste. And so... India, I, I just keep saying India youth need to really look at the vision of the mother and what she created in Orville because you walk through this, you know, extensive area and community, um, you do not see litter. And so it just, it's like a, a, a beautiful vision of what, in my mind, India 
could become because many of us western travelers you know we've seen a lot of video and we you know movies etc and we see the trash and in in many states in india it's a huge problem and it's plastic it's bottles um and so you know if young people are listening it's just like this is the future you know yes 1.4 billion people live in your country and it's a third of the size of uh the united states um so my vision as the now elder is like take this project on and use the mother's wisdom and create a whole new reality um there's well, a she and Aurobindo, they were they were a powerful couple you know each one of them had so much to offer and their deep understanding of what the world needed at the time and of course still needs now they, they had this beautiful way of synchronizing their messages and yet each one of them had their own role mm -hmm. which was really quite special uh, considering that it was such a male dominated society at that time right right and you know uh, another layer of the piece is her vision included a no caste system and right and so everyone in this intentional loving community all is you know has their job they all earn the same amount of income and you know yes you can apply to do something else if you don't want to be the tree trimmer guys if you don't want to repair the potholes and the roads um so i just love this vision of kind of a level playing field and and the intent is to create a community of 50,000 people and currently there's like 3,500 right now and most of them are Tamil. Well, with 60 of them are what? Uh, Tamil Indian. So the state of Tamil Nadu, the cultural um, dominant group is the Tamils. Yeah. And um, there's 61 different nationalities though that are part of the 3,500, 33, 3,500 permanent residents. So, yeah. So then, you know, France is next in line for in the population of like 416 residents. Uh, the Indian population is like uh, six, 1700 people. Um, and then Germany, Italy, and then the United States with 105 people. So then wow. all the 61 you know, represented countries so small all just continue to dwindle to just a matter of a few people from all over the world. And uh, my gosh, when we, well, we went on site specifically to go in and to vibrate in the upper chamber of uh, the Matra Madeira. Okay, we've got more pictures about that. So along the oh, way, along the way- cucumber lady. Yeah, along the way, we bought a cucumber from this resident yes. who was there. And then there's Rich's selfie at the Matramandir. And you can see over his left shoulder, there's like a, it looks like a, a dam or a dike with water behind it. That's actually a construction project because surrounding the entire Fibonacci sort of swirl of the inner is going to be a waterway all the way around, surrounded by 10 different gardens that are themed. And we'll show you the themes and again, here later. The mother's vision was to really soften this energy oh it's funny i have more pictures water. i have more pictures that i didn't open up oh. um i i thought i had let me see if well, i can quickly do that it's not so, so the the matra mandir uh what is the does the building itself the design of the building have a meaning it's such an unusual it, um, it, uh, architecture i didn't open these it pictures it really really is um the upper chamber uh, once you enter in silence, um, there's a, a lower marble meditation area. And then as you enter, uh, you're given special socks uh, so that your, your 
feet as you ascend are you know covered right. and we couldn't take any pictures inside inside so i'm sorry i kind of included some i put this together last night but i didn't and i didn't open it so i'm just going to show you quickly if some additional pictures that i found online but we also did some other activities let me just get rid of that this was and get garden. rid of this that was a fun uh, get rid of this and get rid of journey. this and get rid of this i have so much crap open on my well screen. the uh my favorite part of the gardens, and the gardens are still, after all these years, in development. But Paul and I, once we would come out of our our conscious raising upper white chamber, uh, uh, you'd have about 15 minutes there. And we would just go sit in this amazing, huge crystal garden. And it's it's kind of like, you know, the the sandscaping work that, you know, the Japanese are known for. And there's like seven clusters of crystals. And that in itself was just. Wow. How trippy is that? Huh? Kind of energy. Oh, here so, they are. Yeah. yeah so sorry. Oh. This I'm sorry. I'm not as well organized as I like. Well, me. You, I'm. Um, but this is one of four photos that I found stock because no, there's actually no photographs even in the gardens. Yeah. Um, but so this is the ascent to the place where you go concentrate. Okay. And it's, Which it's, is, wow, that's beautiful. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it's so, you're so spiraling it, up. And you stop before you get here and you well, you have to take your shoes off before you go inside and then you go in and you put on white socks because they keep it all very clean and fabulous. Chair. This is really, I oh, thought, I love this picture. Me too. This shows oh. you the, the design from the outside yeah. where there's this amphitheater over here on the right. And then um, these are the garden by name that are surrounding. And only like about a half of these or so are completed and they're working, actively working the construction groups are putting these things together. Nancy, right you now. would love this place. It is so. Oh my gosh, I am so impressed. I'm wow. looking at Bliss, and that's where we sat with the crystals. I thought it was existence. Was oh, the gosh, where is that? I think Bliss was the one that they were still working on. Oh, existence, you're right. Existence has these big, like, you know, under in Mexico, on in the caves of oh, Mexico and other places, they've discovered those big, massive crystals. Yeah, uh -huh. they have like a few of those. I don't know that they're. I don't know where they're from. Uh, but uh, you, when we came out of the Matramandir, we went three times, and when we came out, we would walk around these gardens and discover and explore. And existence was our favorite. It. Well, I mean, the whole place is just. I mean, it's in cool. another ten years, yeah. it'll be amazing. Oh. Yeah. I want to go. I want to go. I know. Go. I'm I so just cool. encourage so people to go. It is like our third time, Nancy. Um, and oh, we would just beautiful. sit with a, a small group. Often yeah. there would be only maybe 20 people that would enter because once you've gone through kind of the welcoming, the video that they show you, um, you just are now then bust in and quickly you're just escorted early in uh uh, and and as you ascend into this white room, yeah, with I'm sorry. white pillars with white carpet. We don't have a picture. And in the center, there are no photographs. In the center well, there, of the I room, found, I found one online, but it wasn't very big, and I kept trying to find a bigger one. In the center of the room is this super glass orb, and it sits on a golden pedestal. And from the center is a beam of light that is just projecting straight down on top of it. And so we would just sit, total silence, not a cough. I mean, it was like every seat, that time that we sat there was amazing. And and I'll never forget my last time, you know, um, when I traveled to India, Sekhmet had just really woke me up, you know, she's, right. the goddess, uh, I mean, it's goddess time uh, on the, uh, in the universe. And, and so when I'm sitting there, just bringing this goddess energy, uh, into this incredible space, you know, once again, for unknown reasons, my body is just like doing all this vibration stuff. And I would just run positive Sekhmet energy to the universe and to our country and to our people on the planet. And she just had me like, oh, <laughs> so I just love you were like a tuning fork 
I I am yeah I guess I'm a yeah. tooth work in my elder years and I'm I'm just so grateful that I get to go do these things and to share them with Paul and to get outside and then go to that crystal you know magical space and just sit and go oh my gosh wow. I have no idea what just happened but it's happening the right. shift is happening yeah we were in very e, we in were Paul. very drawn to go to that place i i one day i want to return it just it's one of those places in india where it's unlike any place in india yes yeah yeah so that's cool that you yeah. know you know about sri aurobindo and the mother yeah Oh, well, yeah. I mean, he is so well known in the spiritual world. Yeah. I mean, he really was. Uh, I mean, because I as I understand it, he founded Integral Yoga. Right. The idea was that prior to that time, it was always this, the yogic practice was something removed from daily life. Right. Right. Yeah. And, and the two of them together, that was just a, a, a magic, you know, the universe really had something designed for them and they complemented each other so well. And they each had their own um, offering, you know, they didn't have to compete with each other because what they each had was different and yet complemented what the other person was doing. But yeah, I mean, Sri Aurobindo is tremendously famous in the spiritual world well, yeah. yeah thank you for that uh piece of your knowledge Production. from yeah from your reading yeah in fact the story is that at the end of her life she said i am going to take on all the pain of the world and she did and she died um, yeah yeah well, so, he, he yeah. Aurobindo considered her a yogic equal. And, you know, I was reading a little bit um, about that. And, you know, there was some politics and people weren't really accepting her because she's not, she did get Indian citizenship, but it was only after the British were kicked out. And, um, you know, she was French by birth and s s born of a Jewish, Turkish, Egyptian family. So, you know, an unusual combination of background. Uh, and then on top of that, bourgeois, as they, as they describe it. Mm -hmm. So, what you know, a privileged person. And um, she really got the respect of everybody there. And she is beloved for sure. So people can rent apartments there, air conditioning, yeah, can... non-air conditioning. And that comprises, the, I just read, like 33% of the revenue stream is where guests come and in stay and yeah and you're on on the property yeah we were technically uh, in it but really outside sort of this active right. area that we've been talking yeah, our, about our tuk tuk buddy and, Vilu would pick us up and we'd be at the visitors yeah in like six minutes maybe so that's a good it's a segue it's to you show know you oh, and and you know they're they have you know kind of small businesses within that community and and you know uh, one of the things that you know I found, and everything in the shops, China. in Oroville community itself, okay. like I'm this packet of one hundred. Okay, they can't incense. see you. They can't see. No, me. I'm trying to find the oh. Velu picture. Well, I bought a pack so of one hundred. So maybe we should incense. just let's just go through let's just go through pictures of the town the way that in I Pondicherry, and in Oroville, I put them together. Right on. So, so these, oh, how far away is Pondicherry from Oroville? 20 minute tuk tuk ride. Yeah. Yeah. And I know our tuk tuk driver's in here somewhere. I just, yeah, I thought he was at the beginning. Sorry. I feel like I'm not very well organized. Oh, don't apologize. So, There's your sound horn. Okay. So these are the kind of things. These are some of our snapshots from our, <laughs> from our tuk tuk. And Paul would go, Did you get that one? Did you get that one? So it's like every moment you're seeing, like this is so precious and on their scooter. Uh, the three of them, yeah. you know, you'll often see three, four people riding the scooter and the cows. Yeah. Our street had a lot of cows. And in the evening, they would wander back to wherever they were at nearby. To. Great fruit shops, cheap produce and so fresh. That was our breakfast. Now, stove. Oroville is a little village. This is actually Pondicherry. Pondicherry yeah. Yeah. So this is a bigger kind of commerce area. Zippier. Typical. And of course, they start with trikes and then they move to bikes uh 
and, and there's oh, a wow, lot of, those are lot of, pretty fancy. A lot yeah. of bikes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, all right. We've got to hurry. We're not gonna actually get through it. Well, um, we just gotta notice, Nancy, we have 10 minutes. Can you so. see is that across your screen? maybe we do part two? Oh, that's be what a beautiful is that rice? No, no, I don't that understand. is uh there's a it's pepper. It's pepper. Yeah. This oh, it's down, pepper. there's yeah, Vilu. That was down on the waterfront at White Town. So we have to we have to kind of go faster or just skip some of it. Well, I'm kind of wondering, Paul, if we wouldn't just, we'll just do part two, and, two. Do, and do a part two because there's there's some more stuff that needs to happen. Yeah, this is uh, way too interesting to run through. It. Oh my gosh. This was our only source of transportation, it, you know, during our our month, uh, almost a month in Oroville well, and, and uh, Pondicherry. Yeah. But when we needed to go, we had him on right WhatsApp there. and we would. Uh... I mean, to this day, Nancy, he sends me these good morning images that are, you know, like stock images or good evening. And it, it, there's he he's amazing. So we'd he's line him up and he would take us over to the visitor center, which was only, gosh, six minutes, six or seven minutes away. So find and Bilu when you're would in town. Wait for us while we were there, sometimes three hours, two yeah. hours, and then take us back to our uh, our place. Or he would drive us into the grocery stores in Pondicherry or out. We went out to dinner a few times in Pondicherry and he would take us. And that was really fun. And it is on the ocean. So there's some ocean yeah, stuff this is, there. This is the beach in, in White Town. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, there's the oh Hindu gosh, stuff. Nancy, we drove by this temple this like, is in our several hotel. times on our way to Pondicherry. And I just kept thinking, OK, I've got to stop. I've got to stop. And finally, we stopped. And Paul's like, oh, no, it's too hot. I'm going to wait for you. And so I just went in there and I'm taking pictures and I just like, would someone explain all these stories to me? What does this one mean? I mean, you know, there's a baby that's bloodied in the one of the left arms. Okay, that's trippy. But and yeah, there's so I don't know what it means, but well, you have yeah. to photograph this. Um, so you know So you, you didn't find out what the story was? Um, no. No, I not on this stuff. No, so leave your comment. Yeah, I'm in sure our there. Podcast. I'm sure there are people that any know of our more. viewers tell me, tell me. And then yeah, this it, is a reclining. It's incredible. Uh, so, image of this statue. Um, yeah, amazing, amazing. So what else do we have in? Well, we had Mahablapuram and a have, whole bunch of food. You want to see some food? Yeah, and then we, we can then. Who after, doesn't like food? We can take a break, but again. Uh, like the fruits and vegetables uh, that were inexpensive, our overall cost. Oh, this one. I love this you image. Know, this live, is our favorite uh, Italian restaurant, like yeah. five minute walk uh, with the cows Tant in the evening. Tantos. Tantos. And I, so my my Instagram post at Hotel Guys One said, yes, table for three, and we'd like the vegetarian menu, please. <laughs> but he didn't he didn't come in after all. He just stood there. It's like, you know, they're waiting for a handout. Yeah. And I and I think the lady that takes care of them might work in the kitchen. I think so too. So and then this is another really great Indian restaurant. We consider this to be the restaurant of the hotel. It was right across the street from uh the uh, three apartment. minutes. And so we ate at Anita's Kitchen a lot. And they said that, you know, they do Western, you know, kind of spice style. But, oh, my gosh, I bet we ate there seven times. And, and then, the price point is. Yeah, it was, the, it was the cheapest food we ever had in India. Actually. So dinner, well done. Dinner would sometimes be $12 or maybe if it was real splurgy. We we, yeah. had, we met some people and had friends for dinner sometime. Maybe then we might spend 22 or $5. There's our minestrone. Soup so this is in the Italian restaurant. This is a typical um, Tali, T-H-A-L-I, Tali Indian presentation and meal served on a banana leaf. This is kind of an upscale restaurant. This in is kind of date night. Pondicherry. It's about $40. This is like date lunch. With dessert. Oh, wow. Yeah. And we're really... not drinking alcohol. So, no. you know, it's that was a, a big splurge. There but it is. Look what you get. It's amazing. I mean... So great. And the food is so delicious. Curries and dolls and and. Yeah, just some yummy stuff. A little bit of chicken. Yeah, and we ate every almost well, every I, bit I of love it. this image. Yeah. <laughs> but the, yeah, the the banana leaf, uh, you know, is very very common for these big, you know. And you can stuff. eat with your hand, but we used a fork, and 
what the heck? There's that's just you having your sweet tea. I'm wearing this same Oracle I know, shirt, right? And and again, I think I paid like six dollars for that shirt out in the in the community yeah. of Oroville. So this is at Anita's Kitchen, and this is some yummy nightly, everyday kind of Indian food with fresh tandoori uh, oven. Okay, cup, I'm drooling. Bread. And then across the street from her, which was even closer to our apartment, was Mark's Cafe. And this is like some, you know, fancy. Oh. This is actually an Oroville project. So the profits of actually so is Anita's Kitchen and yeah, so yeah. is Tonto's. And yes. Yeah. So, yeah, these are all part of Oroville. The benefit, everybody that works there is part of the community. So we've learned to. Yummy. Oh, OK, come on. And we're going back to India. We'll tell you more about I, that. Our later. mouths are watering. It's, and the Italian food was really above average. It was. And the guy, really? oh my God, that's, that's uh, the- uh, The lead chef. Yeah, I remember his name. He too. greeted us every Every night. day he came out and shook I my mean, hand. And again, we were there maybe He would know somebody ordered two vegetarian soups, He would the minestrones. Yeah. He would come out and shake our hands. They had the best cold iced tea. And then the Shut sweets. Up. I mean, this we- This is Mark's Cafe. We, and I oh my Mark's gosh. Coffee. The French, the French I, influence. You can tell. Yeah. 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 And then this is a burger joint. So there were a lot not of fun. Not our favorite. Yeah, not, but a lot Cafe of fun. 73. A lot of fun places. This is tandoori mushroom. Back at India. Ooh, wow. Kind of like an appet a veg appetizer. Yeah. That, uh -huh. that, red, that green sauce there at the top is a little, got a little kick to it. <laughs> Quite a bit of kick. Sweet tea at All Tonto's. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then this is street food. We actually don't eat off the street, but these are fun little Indian yeah. snacks. This is back down in White Town in Pondicherry. And uh little um yeah, it was super chill. Thing. And they loved their noodles as much as rice. Yeah, that was good. And oh, oh god, stop it. I mean, you can tell the quality. Well, this of... is from Mark's Cafe, but I yeah. I was tipped off by a couple they're they're green global on Instagram. They're a couple long-term travelers and and she's like, you have to go to the Oroville Bakery. Yeah. Well, we did a couple times. And they're known for their croissants. And it's like this one where you just like pull it apart. And, and it's, it's like, just so oh, good. It's magic. It's super ah. like and a I lot could of... get hooked if I live, if that bakery was like right next door. Yeah. But we had to show restraint. Right. And this is our lemon tea. We are alcohol free uh, now. We're just not feeling it. Um, I do like to drink beer, but I'm like. It's, easier Not, on the budget yeah well and it's easier on like the everything it's, well like our month i bet yeah. in in oroville pondicherry we probably spent total with rent paying everything tips included transport maybe 1700 american yeah dollars. or less actually for the whole month it's great yeah so here's a typical chai yeah. tea served after our wonderful tali meal a oh, great guy we went back and ate there a second time and this is what they call um uh something 45 what's that called um somebody's gonna know um but it's sort of a an a, a, an oriental inspired uh mix mm -hmm. of spices that i believe this might be chicken it is chicken. yeah so um and then here's our good buddy that we made while we were there and we had dinner with this guy's awesome times. he just yeah. we just connected with him he's, he's a part of the or yeah we community member there and, and then here's another little bite to eat a little appetizer and a vegetarian appetizer. And then one last hurrah. This is a different tali. Okay. Like. Uh, All right, Nancy, are you hungry? Should we go have Indian food? Oh my gosh, this is just so gorgeous. Wow. And yeah. and no um, gut issues no. while no. you were there? No. No, just, wow. mouth, just mouth watering it, issues. It's funny because, yeah. you know, this, like Paul had alluded, this was a uh, month, well, 10 months in total three trips into India since we first arrived in yeah. what 17 so eight. yeah yeah we have to say goodbye now so okay we're going to do part two with you Nancy yeah because... we just have a couple yes. more things but that's yeah. a really good that's everything that was in town and that's what we went there for that month and then we did something historical and fun on the way out because Chennai was an hour and a half north you and the like things we want to show hours. you are two. Uh, yeah, the things we want to show you are up there. So thank you so much for doing it with us again. It's oh, fun to share. Pleasure. Yeah. When do you want to we'll do talk it? Soon. Yeah. We'll talk soon. Yeah, yeah. All, All right. right. You guys. Love you. I love, love you. you more. And this flower is for you, hon. Oh, thank you. I yeah. will take it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Bye-bye.